Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your sexy ranch man co-host Calder Ness. This episode we're going to be talking about the Hero Clicks for Huntington's tournament prizing and all the cool stuff they showed in the live stream. We're going to be talking about the new X of Swords poster and some other stuff. Episode 411. Howdy howdy, let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like a hundred? Instant dead pan humor. Oh, oh, how they, six uh, people work. think I am funny. It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which absolute fools? It's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Use code DIAL5, that's D I A L 5, for 5% off your Cool Stuff Inc. order. Joining me, like always, in the studio is Simeon. Simeon, did you get your uh, your free flamethrower now that we are owned by Elon Musk, now that he bought Dial H for Hero Clicks? Oh, yeah. I, I can't wait to hop in into my super useful hyper tube that was not at all a uh, complete failure and uh, just no. zip my way uh, to the studio. Yeah, it's dude. amazing. Uh, it was. I, I really enjoyed taking my cyber truck here. I only broke three of the windows as I was driving to the studio. Yeah, so I'm, I was I'm just glad stoked. if I ever get like stuck underwater and like a cave-in he will yeah. eventually come up with some sort of terrifying submarine device to save me yeah, dude and uh someday we're going to be recording in space uh, i already worked that out with our new boss uh mr musk yeah we already uh, talked about this we, we will be the first hero clicks podcast to broadcast podcast from today. mars yeah so uh, i am looking forward to that and also i guess cat girls are going to be real now now that he got the uh the podcast rights so now that he owns it, uh, expect some cat girls. I think you yeah. have something you said yeah, yeah. at one time. Um, hey, Simeon, <laughs> let's. Uh, this is real cold, <laughs> cold and old Elon takes. Really cold and old Elon takes. Uh, man, how about his cameo in Iron Man Two? Wow, uh, yeah. yeah, solid. Your old solid so acting, incredible, dude. He was like, "Hey, are you Tony Stark?" And he was like, "Yep, I am." And it was like, "Oh, hi, Pepper." And that was it. It was pretty. It was pretty incredible. It's crazy oh, how once hang you're rich, on. laws don't matter. He just canceled my Tesla order because I said oh, something mean about it. Dang it. Dang, dude. Oh. This is rough. I dude, really okay. wanted that Model X. Yeah, oh. dude. dude Model I'll, Y. I'll have to stick with my bike. I will say his meme react for PewDiePie when he laughs at the, uh, my dolphin looks weird and it's a dead deer in a swimming pool. I also laughed my butt off. I thought that was also <laughs> hilarious. I'm like, dang, that is that. funny though. It's pretty dark, but it's like, dude, I think my dolphin's taking a nap, and it's a dead deer in a swimming pool. And I'm like, fudge, that is funny. Like, that's dark. That's oh, funny. Man. Hey, guys. So this is going to be a two-part episode this week. We are just going to be talking about news, specifically the Huntington's Prize list and the X of Swords poster that were just, not all just released today, but this past week, there was the Huntington's uh, for Heroclix live stream. There was the X of Swords poster coming out today, and then there was figuring out all the prizing, figuring out all the Battle Royale stuff. Um, it took people a pretty long day uh, to get all that information out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, we we could and, not record and talk about it at the time because... No. We, uh, we, we weren't going to record a podcast answers. while, like, one of us was in a car or anything. Um, which is just like, nah, we ain't, we ain't, gonna, we ain't about that life. It's not going to happen. So... That's the bulk of the show. Uh, really quickly, though, guys, I want to say, uh, not really going to be about made us happy this week, but quick shout out to the WizKids Twitter and Facebook, so the uh, content creator team uh, over at WizKids. They shared our Marvel Studios Disney Plus brick unboxing, which is really huge. So they're like, check out the Dial H for Hero Clicks latest unboxing of the upcoming Marvel Hero Clicks set, uh, Marvel Studios Disney Plus booster brick. And the reason this is like cool and big, guys, is like, as you know, we already got that product like recently but they haven't shared anybody else's unboxing yet except for scott porter's but we were their second share for unboxing they must have been you know at I least hope, for this set i don't i don't yeah, remember all the previous but yeah definitely for yeah. this set so i don't remember um what's it called yeah if they ever done it before i mean not 
but no one for this yeah. set I, specifically. I want to say Tabletop Teacher um, got shared at one point. Oh, definitely. But yeah, too, right? Like, yeah, they used to share his didn't. videos all the time. Obviously, he doesn't create as much Heroclix content anymore. But yeah, yeah. no, it, it was super cool when I saw it. I was like, wow, like no one shares our stuff. Who is this? And then I was like, oh, it's WizKids. And then yeah, I immediately called uh, all of my Heroclix friends and told them that I'm better than them and can no longer talk to them, can no longer associate with them. I gotcha. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I gotcha. All right. Dang. Uh, so, yeah. So, shout out. Shout out to WizKids uh, for all that. It's pretty cool. Uh, next up, shout out to the Kokomo tournament. We're going to be doing the second podcast. Is all going to be about the uh, tournament, the Kilted Classic, that was in Kokomo this past weekend. This episode is just going to be news this week. And next episode, that's going to be, we're going to be talking about Kokomo tournament, what Simeon and I played, kind of how our games went, kind of what we thought of it. It's a pretty good tournament. It was pretty awesome. PJ held a, a great tournament, so. Yeah, it was really uh, solid. About that. But we'll get into the specifics later. Yeah. Uh, so, and the second thing, really quickly, is check out our team building video. We went through our Disney Plus boosters, and we made two, you know, two-figure teams and all, or not two-figure, two booster teams, like a normal sealed event. So make sure to check out that video on our YouTube channel. It, I would really, really appreciate that, guys. So just yeah. I'll sure say to, uh, hindsight pop on in there, check it without out. any spoilers for how the games go, because we will also be posting the games uh, of like a little tourney bracket kind of thing out of that brick. Yeah. Um, without getting to any spoilers, uh, hindsight is very 2020. Like, man, listening to myself be like, especially that last booster where like the two of us were building it um man hindsight just um and with that ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and get into the hero clicks for huntington's stuff specifically uh the prizing so i'm just going to go through thursday friday saturday sunday well actually i'll do thursday same will do friday i'll do saturday same will do sunday and then we'll look at the auction info kind of neat the thursday schedule is kind of simple so this is also the rock cup and this is all very similar to exactly how they host the rock cup kind of every year so the team's rock cup kickoff event 15 dollars per player so three-man team 45 bucks uh, it's going to be a booster draft with teams of three players. Each team is going to receive six boosters to build three teams of 300 points each. Uh, three rounds of Swiss cuts top four. Boosters are random from various sets of hero clicks, so it's usually really old stuff, which is pretty fun. I For 15 bucks, you're getting two boosters, so it's, you're going to play some pretty old jank stuff. Um, first place gets choice of John Cena, Ellie, or rock map for each player. Two dice for each player, six custom rock cards for each player, and trophy. And then it just kind of goes down from there. Second place is remaining options of John Cena or Rock Ellie map for each player. Two dice, custom card sleeves. Random con exclusive for each player. And third place, two dice, custom card sleeves. And fourth gets a single mansion ring for each player. Two dice for each player. And then six custom card sleeves Man. for each player. So Without listing it's only what the mansion ring is, that could be really know, good right? or really bad. You get like a $15, $20 mansion ring, or you could get spin ring. <laughs> or, I mean, not spin, point, or you could get remaker. At this point in like how how released john cena is is there any possible roc map that you choose over john cena i dude i don't know dude that 150 like, something john cena yeah you i mean know. like what was the, like the blood variant of king's tomb or something i guess like, so but even then that's that would like be almost. maybe the only option and even then yeah. yeah um yeah that's thursday friday so again this is in huntsville alabama alabama for uh, the most part. So I'm going to start with the cool stuff that is Battle Royals. So starting at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, all day until close, Brad Broyles is going to be running these online. You'll have to get into the ROC Discord to get on these uh, if you're doing the online. So $20 in person, $10 online. Uh, so $10 online. You will not get any actual physical product, but you will be able to play with uh, digital Disney+. Plus. So you get to play with it. You don't get to keep it. They don't send it to you. It's not real. Um, right. The format sealed, one booster, Battle Royale format. Not sure if this is going to go into something that we're not going to go into, which is that WizKids might be creating a new style of Battle Royale. Um, right. So not sure how this format's going to work. But the in-person Battle Royale prizing is going to be, uh, first gets a Scott Porter 
Pog or a Spirit of the Game bystander. Uh, second gets the John Cena or Ultimate Warrior, which is really good prizing for in person. Uh, all prizes will snake draft along with the contents of boosters. That means third and fourth don't get anything, but comparatively, online boost battle royal prizing is uh, first gets Scott Porter or Spirit of the Game bystander, and then second and fourth get three random team up or legacy cards. So there is like they don't tell you what's gonna be what. Like they'll just send you one and you'll get a random one so um yep. last year it was first and second got the scott porter bystander and now it's going to be second through fourth get a random team up card which means you will have to actually win a battle royal to get one of the bystanders making it a little bit harder means they'll be a little bit more sought after sure. uh but yeah um the exit auction with scott porter will start at 8 p.m central standard time is that right uh yeah so mm -hmm. it's going to be on the Oxid app, and uh, it's going to go for quite a while. They're, they've got a list of all the stuff that's going to be on the auction. Um, we won't go over that. You can go to heroclicksforhuntingtons.com yeah. to look at the Oxid auction info. It's a long list of a lot of good pricings, mostly the same stuff that you saw last year in some form or another with uh, some newer things in there. So Scott Porter versus the World is Friday. That's the main event in person. Um 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Registration closes. Boosters will be passed out. I think they're building out of Spider-Man Venom Absolute Carnage. Uh, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Tournament begins. Cost is $30 per player. Format is 300 points sealed. Swiss play followed by single elimination option will be given to players to play top cut matches after auction if the tournament is close on time. Special rules. Players are allowed one mulligan and can purchase two new boosters if they are unsatisfied with the original boosters. Uh, original boosters must be put up and players must play with their replacement boosters. Players may buy up to five probs per game. Each charity prob costs $1. That's pretty big. Um, that's a great way to get charity money, by the way. Um, all proceeds from charity prob, prob purchases will go to Huntington's Disease Society for America. Where else would it have gone? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, that's the charity. Hang on. That's like, what the event is for. <laughs> one second here. If you're charging for an intangible item, like a probability control reroll, where else would you... S uh, yeah, fine. I do appreciate that they mentioned that, you know, it's not, you know, the house doesn't take a 10% cut on yeah, your reroll no, ability. Uh, prizing. First place. Brick of Disney Plus. Cool. War of the Realms factory set. Pretty cool. Um, that's, yeah, that's actually really solid. Uh, Phoenix, 1 million BC. Uh, DC Heroclix Plastic Man with Mailbox. Batman and Jaro Convention Exclusive. Brainiac and Lex. Master Mold. Fulcum Abominus, uh, Samurai Spider Gwen, Kingdom Come Power Woman, Spirit of the Game, Bystander Token, Tokens, it says, but probably just one, Scott Porter Map, ROC Sleeves, ROC Dice. Second gets a Mighty Thor Colossal Figure Set, which is pretty cool. Uh, not a bad prize for second. War of the Realms Chase and Prime Sets, Phoenix, 1 million BC, um, the same convention exclusives I listed before, Plastic Man, Batman Jaro, Brainiac Lex, Master Mold, Fulcum, Samurai, Spider-Gwen, Kingdom Come, Power Woman, Spirit of the Game, Bystander Token, the Scott Porter Map, ROC Sleeves, and ROC Dice. Top four will get Plastic Man with, mal with Mailbox, Batman and Jaro, Phoenix, 1 million BC, Master Mold, Fulcum, Samurai, uh, Spider-Gwen, Kingdom Come Power Woman, Spirit of the Game, Bystander Tokens, a Scott Porter map, ROC Sleeves, and ROC Dice. The top eight will get the same, minus uh, no Batman and Jaro, no uh, Master Mold. I'm trying to make that faster. Yeah, looks like no yeah. Batman and Jaro, no Master yeah. Mold. Top 16, Spider-Man, or S Samurai Spider-Gwen, Kingdom Come Power Woman, Spirit of the Game, Bystander, Scott Porter map, ROC Sleeves, ROC Dice. Top 16 easily pays for itself. Um, top 32 easily pays for itself, to be honest. It's $30 entry, uh, and you're getting boosters. Yeah. So Samurai Spider-Gwen for top 32, Spirit of the Game, Bystander Token, ROC Sleeve, and ROC Dice. So that is Friday, the Scott Porter versus the World event. And, yeah, Battle Royals will kick off. Yeah. You will need to be in the Discord, the ROC Discord, and contact Brad Royals if you 
want to be in the uh, online version of that. Yep. So Saturday, that is going to be the Team 3v3 National. So same thing, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. All the Battle Royales are going until close. Uh, Teams 3v3 is 9 a.m. Registration, 10 a.m. Tournament begins. By the way, I like this. It seems like most of the time, tournament registration starts at 10, and you like roll dice at 11. I like the earlier start time. Like, let's not lie to ourselves. We can be up by 9 a.m. to register at a tournament. I mean, you know. Yeah, I I always prefer to be done with the tournament earlier than early and start late. Yeah. Uh, So it's 300 points silver age, extreme Highlander. That's basically like for teams, you each build a 300 point team. But if somebody else has an item on their team, you can't use that item. If Simeon was playing the Flash, he can only play one of them. And then I also can't have that Flash on my team. That's how it works. Anyways, right. if you sideline as... um, any dooms, yeah. your Vulcan buddies Doom, can't have main force. Any all of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little tougher. Um, top 16, we get Ultimate Warrior, Connelly, uh, Rock Dice. Rock hard sleeves, 15 WKO points. And that's like all this stuff is like times three, whatever for people, right? Uh, next up for the top eight, though, they also get the Scott Part- Parter map. Scott Porter map and the Spirit of the Game bystanders are added to it. Top four, uh, they get all the same stuff, but then they also get a Superman Prime added to it for the top four, which is pretty nice. And the WKO the points stuff. go up by five oh, each Yeah, time. They, they go up by five each time. WK still don't know what those are worth, but you know, yeah, I know. What's, what's Second the place? meme? Um, they're not they're not transferable. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, second place team is going to get 50 WKO points, untransferable. It doesn't matter because they're all the same now, but yeah, non transferable. You also get three ultimate warriors, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, spirit of the game, scout mortar map, uh, superman prime. Yeah, all that stuff is the same. And then the number one team winner for this stuff is the big difference here is it's all the same stuff. And then they get a hundred WKO points. The team gets to design a map, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's not an ROC map. But then each member is going to get three bricks of War of the Realms. So everybody gets a brick of yeah. War of the Realms for first the, place. The team gets three. Yeah, each member gets, gets one. Three. So each member gets one brick, yeah. which is pretty cool. Yeah. That's how I, that's how I like my War of the Realms is um, free. Uh, I do not have to pay for it. All right, that brings us to Sunday ROC Cup Silver Age National Championship. Scott Porter Hero Clicks for Huntington's Invitational, or if you want to go with the acronym, Turks and I, something like that. I don't know. It's a really yeah, long name. Right. Is what my brain was trying to say. T R C S A N C S P H F H I duh yeah uh 9 a.m registration opens 10 a.m tournament begins uh cost is 30 dollars so again this is a 30 dollar entry you're not buying a sealed or anything this is silver age so this is a constructed build so 300 points silver age constructed Swiss rounds determined by number of players. Players with earned buys will join in after the cut and for single elimination. All proceeds go to Huntington's Disease Society for America. Um, I'll do what Calder did and start at the bottom. So, fellowship for worst luck. Now, I here's my thing with fellowship. I do not like the uh, like the voting system for these fellowships. I just I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm not saying that people have favorites in the community, but at the same time, there's definitely the same names that you see over and over again. So that's, how do you determine saying, worst yeah. luck? Like, how? Because yeah. you're not actively going to watch every game. You're not going to see the people at, like, the bottom tables. You're going to be like, yeah, I noticed that guy, like, rolled five crit misses. Like, well, you watched him all day. So, of course, you saw that. But anyhow, yeah. fellowship for worst luck. I'm just saying, personally, these fellowship, like, uh prizes where you vote for them or like a little committee votes for them i just i don't i don't like it i don't like this inner circle stuff uh fellowship for worst luck is a dc comics hero clicks harley quinn that's convention exclusive that's recently been released or shown uh w wonder woman 80 factory set which is pretty solid that's samurai spider solid. gwen kingdom come power woman scott border map roc sleeves roc dice it's a really solid uh prize list for worst luck so yeah. best of luck to lose with worst of luck i guess 
Uh, Fellowship for Best Theme Team Build, or Best Theme Build, which I don't know how they'll do this one either, because it's just, this isn't like the Family is Everything one from last year. This is just 300 points silver, so. Yes, I don't know. I don't know how they'll vote for this, if it's just like a fun one, or if it's like. Yeah, maybe yeah, something's like knows. fun. Uh, you get a Fantastic Thor's exclusive four-figure set, Empire Factory set, which is really good. It's Samurai Spider Gwen, that is good. Uh, Kingdom Come Power Woman, Spirit of the Game Bystander, Scott Porter Map, ROC Sleeves, and ROC Dice. Yeah, Empire Factory set is like easily yeah good money right there. Six hundred dollars. Yeah, um, easy, easy six hundred. Yeah, if not more. Uh, fellowship for the Fellowship overall runner up. So this is uh, the runner up to the Fellowship overall. So this is a vote usually. It's like the the nicest player of the day, or like whoever oh you know, God, yeah. people voted for, like whoever they enjoyed playing against the most, or something. Uh, so the runner up gets a Marvel Hero Clicks Spider Hulk convention exclusive, X Men animated series Chase Prime set, Sp Samurai Spider Gwen, uh, Kingdom Come Power Woman, Spirit of the Game Bystander, Scott Porter Map, ROC sleeves, ROC dice. The actual Fellowship overall gets become a Switch Click which I think is the same prize as last cool. year. Uh, yeah. War of the Realms Factory set, which is okay, all the same pretty stuff. solid. Uh, and then, yeah, the same convention exclusives, Scott Porter map, ROC sleeves, and dice. Uh, top 32. So this is for the people that don't get any votes and just actually have to play the game. Uh, top 32, Kingdom Come Power Woman, Spirit of the Game by Standard Token, and ROC sleeves. Top 16 will get, in addition to those those three things they'll get a samurai spider gwen a um roc dice and a scott porter map and then top eight in addition to that stuff we'll get a dc hero clicks gorilla grod and that's it i get sorry i think that's the only difference yeah you get a gorilla grod okay top four in addition to the previous listed we'll get uh fulcum abominus Phoenix, 1 million BC, a Master Mold, a Brainiac Lex, and a Mighty Thor Colossal Figures set. Sounds like top four is way better than top eight, just saying. A little uh, bit. Oh, that's, that's not top four. That's fourth. Sorry. I mean, it's oh. essentially the same. But uh, So that's what fourth gets. Yeah. Third gets, uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. They get a Harley Quinn convention exclusive, uh, the Mighty Thor Colossal Figure sets with objects, which fourth does not say with objects, so I'm not sure yeah, if they get the it or figures, not. I guess. They did come with them originally, so hard to tell. Um, everything is, else is the same. So once again, Brainiac Lex, Phoenix 1 million BC, DC Hero Clicks, Gorilla Grodd, Master Mold, Fulcum Abominus, Samurai Spider Gwen, Kingdom Come Power Woman, Spirit of the Game Bystander, Scott Porter Map, ROC Sleeves, and ROC Dice. Second gets Pick a Legacy Card or Become a Bystander, um, which I'm guessing they get whichever first doesn't pick. Yeah, um, um, yeah, I guess I would assume so, because first has the same thing, Pick a Legacy Card or Become yeah. a Bystander. Or maybe if it's not like that, like how it was last year, maybe it's potentially two Bystanders or potentially two new Legacy Cards. I Who mean, knows? anyone that doesn't pick a legacy card and then, I don't know, like buy up all of the giant size X-Men leeches and tell their buddies to buy up the giant size X-Men leeches would be a fool because uh, those are going for a decent <laughs> amount. Uh, yeah. Not calling any shots, but it's uh, pretty painfully obvious. Um, ah. Anyhow, next up on that prize list is uh, Spider-Hulk, War of the Realms Chase Prime sets, Phoenix 1 million BC, Gorilla Grodd, Batman and Jaro, which is the first we've seen that, Brainiac and Lex, Master Mold, Folk of Abominus, Spider Gwen, Kingdom of Power Woman, Spirit of the Game Buyer Standard Token, the Scott Porter Map, ROC Sleeves, ROC Dice, and then first is going to be able to design a map, get a trophy, um, all the other stuff, as well as uh, Spider Man Venom, Absolute Carnage Factory set, and the Fantastic Thors exclusive four figure set so once again become a bystander or a legacy card which the previous winner of become a bystander did not really become a bystander but they designed a bystander which i think so is yeah, just i don't know cool. so like yeah i know last year like scott had alluded to like 
you you don't get to be the bystander last year he was like you need to choose like something like kind of generic like not a specific person or like yourself you know he said like how you could choose like a doctor or a nurse or like something is like kind of what i was thinking as like something like examples he gave um do you know what my bystander would be if i actually participated in this and uh, was able to win this i would call it the pinch oh no don't you dare yeah it would essentially be a bystander that could uh either generate a copy of itself that was like zero points and like in within one or two squares like adjacent either adjacent or uh within like two squares of it or something but yeah it would just be a bystander that could it would be like be like shape change uh stealth super senses and doesn't have any attack or damage but it would just have the ability to generate another one of itself to pinch off line of fire my favorite game term yeah official game term pinch. <laughs> uh, that's hero clicks for huntington's yeah uh, i'll be participating in whatever capacity i can online you want to give some battle royale uh times that you're going to be trying to get in on battle royales i mean so i'm going to be driving back from indiana on friday it's a roughly nine hour drive and i'm not sure when i'll be done testing so friday's yeah. probably out i will try and be there most of that saturday and then okay. probably early sunday but there will be time where i like have to eat lunch or of course uh, no you know, of course. walk dog those kind of things so walk. yeah uh, so my goal for battle royales is going to be can't be there friday um i won't be able to be there until later saturday uh i got graduation to go to so it's looking probably after four or five on saturday i'll jump into battle royales and then on sunday sometime after one o'clock i'll be able to jump battle royales on sunday i don't know how late they're going sunday though they're like two on sunday though they're going pretty early yeah i mean yeah brad said he'd pretty much run them whenever whenever like there's yeah people I mean, I guess Battle Royale's on Sunday, say 10 a.m. till close. Yeah. So maybe, maybe we'll be able to run some. Who knows? Like, but, who uh, knows? It says yeah. 10 a.m. I'm guessing if you're in the ROC Discord and you see Brad in there, yeah, and you have four people ready to go, he'll probably get you he'll set up. But, yeah. Well, if you have three people ready to go and you see him, well, then he'll three with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so next up, really quickly, Scott and V Muse when they went live. It showed off all sorts of cool stuff, and like you already know, this is all prizing. So let's talk about it really quickly. I'm going to run down the spirit of the game, which is this new bystander token. Uh, one click, flight in Dom, seven ra- yeah, in Dom, whatever. Flight, I guess, is the only <laughs> yeah. special. It's been a year, and I still can't do it. It's, yeah, it's uh, hard to fix Seven range, habits. one bolt, police, mystical, and ghost realm keywords. All spirit of the game is a spooky ghost. Yeah. Um, seven and for the nine. record, Lucas Tom Van Holland, the set you were referring to was the Undead set or the Rest in Peace set. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Jacob I get it Marley wrong. Ghost. Grim Jacob Reaper Marley Death. Ghost. They all had it. Death. Jeez. Yeah. Are you a no. competitive player? Don't know your Rest in Peace set? Probably not. Uh, anyways, so seven speed with nothing, 10 attack with precision strike, 18 defense with defend. Very nice, very nice, very cool. And then a special damage power, which is families come in all shapes and sizes. The spirit of the game is on a themed team. At the beginning of your turn, action total plus one. So here's why that's great. Bystander tokens don't count for or against theme team. So you don't have to play Ghost Realm, Mystical, or Police keyword. You can play whatever theme team you want. Yeah. And now you got a plus one action. So add that in with your leadership. You got five actions a turn for being yeah. a theme team i like that this a podcast one bystander year, pretty much so for 20 points pretty much completely makes like fate and loki's yeah. like so useless because <laughs> stupid yeah that's way too many points for actions you could i mean um, you could play it all together you could do like a mystical good. with fates loki's yeah. and this and leadership and have all the actions in the world. Are you going to use them effectively? No, you're not going to do anything. You won't cool. have any characters that can actually <laughs> no. do anything. Uh, um, anyways, also, but no, Simeon. Anyways, okay. So it's kind of like uh, some some podcast said last year. 
uh that like the scott porter bystander all teams are now 280 points yeah like scott porter but like now if it is a team it is actually 280 points like yeah. no offense to scott but this is definitely on every single theme and team. if it's unthemed and you you're like throwing skinny steve on just for leadership i don't yeah. see how if it's themed you're not throwing this on yeah exactly like you know similar kind of thing yeah. um do you want to talk about the precision strike what the the flavor text on that is i oh, know dude you hit me with it because it's so funny with so, the picture plus <laughs> the back everything. of the card because yeah so the, the back of the card for spirit of the game um it shows the, the special the dam damage power yeah the bystander obviously it doesn't have clicks but then it has a secondary damage symbol that's pink colored called erratas and clarification precision strike so obviously that was meant to be the attack power um hopefully whiz kids i think whiz kids is pretty meme -y at this point they've done some pretty hope it's on purpose. invisible john cena was like oh yeah that's definitely like peak whiz kids is getting into the groove of uh definitely. making funny stuff um so yeah having erratas and clarifications precision strike uh listed as a damage power is pretty fun so good um so funny dude real quickly i'm gonna go over the fantastic thors so there is four of them. That's how that works. Uh, I'm not oh, going to say their so names clever. because they're the same names they always have, I think. Oh, you know yeah, who the Fantastic the same names they always have. Don't act like you don't, listener. So they have three point lines. They're all 100, 75, or 50. Uh, the 100 point line will get you nine clicks. The 75 point line will get you six clicks. And the 50 point line will get you three clicks. Um, they have stats. They have values. They're all fantastic four team ability and pd team ability uh they all have the as guardian i believe yeah uh as god as guardian battle world other fantastic four and police keywords um other than that like so they have a shared trait that is toughness uh they can reduce penetrating damage that is the only reducer any of them have even the thing does not have a oh. reducer other than that Weird. toughness yeah, kind of weird for a thing not to have like any reducer other than traded toughness. It's weird. Um, they all have really a weird. special defense power. They all have special um, traits. Like so, I, I'm not gonna get into it, but like they're essentially Fantastic Four things. Human Torch yeah. is doing poison stuff. Invisible Woman's doing barrier stuff. Uh, Mister Fantastic has like giant reach, leadership stuff, super senses, that kind of thing. Things got stop clicks, close combat expert, and power, that kind of thing. It's all stuff that you would expect from them. Uh, they will be very cool and very unique, and I think they will definitely fit on the Fantastic Four swap stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to get super into them just because yeah. we're trying to do a quick episode. Right. Uh, he also showed off, I believe, Harley Quinn and the Hulk. Those are both on Clix Nexus and AC Realms, if you guys want to talk about them. There wasn't anything super crazy uh, about either of them, uh, at least by my understanding. Uh, but next up, he did show off the <laughs> Legacy card, which I think everybody knows what it is by now, by the buzz of it on the internet and the buy-sell groups going nuts. But it is the Giant Size X-Men 026 uh, Leech. This is going to be for the X-Men X of Swords set. Uh, so, number one, not a cool sculpt, not a cool figure. Uh, no. Maybe if you played it at the time, it was a little tough because the original was characters in six squares can't make power actions. Name, name one reason why actions. you would have had more than one of these in your collection. As a Golden Age figure that was unique, uncommon, name why, like, why would you have collected, like, three of these? You know, maybe... Maybe if like is it because dude, you really like little kids with so beanies? much? I bought that so one? much of giant size. X I mean, I bought so much of giant yeah, size. Yeah, yeah. I just have so much after, giant size X Men lying around. After uh, twelve years, I just never <laughs> sold any of them. Yeah, yeah. I just never got rid of these uncommon. Hopefully, that's true for some of the people I out there. I hope so. I um, certainly hope it's so. Definitely not true for all of them, but yeah. Oh, absolutely. So originally, uh, this leech would, um, what was it, make power actions like they couldn't use power yeah. actions yeah within, within six yeah so it was like it had a pretty good range 
Yeah, you know, and that was actually than, uh, a solid character up until yeah. the Wonder Woman 80 rules where, like, range combat expert, close yeah, combat expert, no like, all this stuff action. was no longer power it's action. Bad. Yeah, it was actually a pretty solid figure up until that point. So what this leech does now, he's still the same, three clicks of stealth, and then last two clicks of outwit, like, super lame dial for 25 points. But now he has Fantastic Four, Warlocks, Power Pack, X-Factor, and X-Men keywords, so he's pretty stacked. Yeah, keywords, where's that honestly. kid keyword? Yeah, dude, no kid keywords. So sad. Poor Jimmy. Uh, and then he has a trait. Pa Jimmy! Uh, power negation. Adjacent characters can't use powers. I will Hot say... Iggity dog. This is the most correct leech they have ever made. Leech Actually, does true, not though. really outwit. He Like, he's yeah. just... And it's adjacent characters, so it's friendly and opposing. That's just what leech does. Like That is true. Yeah, if Leech is close this to you in the Marvel comics, accurate Leech, you just don't have your powers as much or at all. Like, there's a reason why Reed Richards stuck him in the same room as Franklin for so long. It's because True. his True. child was a nuclear like bomb. Um, but no, like, yeah. yeah, this Leech is like one of the most accurate, which is also why it's one of the most aggravating, uh, because this is gonna be stupid good on like drop off teams. And even more stupid or good and silver when it's released, and you can use the ID card um, for 25 points. Yeah, it's pretty insane. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty gross. Uh, Leech here, flat out, is like, oh, you're playing. He's like, dude, he's the silver bullet for any one man army. It's like, ah, oh, dude, you and a mind, bro, bro, that is so cute. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you get one shot now. Oh, dude, Thanos, if you don't get one shot, you get two shot because, like, you know, that's a lot of clicks, yeah. but still. If you're not playing, like, like, a swarmy, multiple figure, like, you know, uh, things Leech isn't good against. Animal, where you can drop off, like, well, you can't even drop off maggots to poison him. You can drop him off to punch him, because he's only got, like, a, a small defense. Yeah, um, I mean, a 16 defense. Yeah, on and Fantastic Four, you can't even four, put a defend can next with... to Leech, because then they can't use it, you know? So yeah. there's a little balance there, I guess. On Fantastic Four, though, you can play him with uh, Lockjaw and... Uh, you know, do the mastermind thing, <laughs> but no, like you've got you've got options. Um, as far as attacking him goes, like I don't know if he can cross the map outside of like an alpha strike drop off kind of situation. I think if your opponent outranges you and you have to like slowly crawl, then he's just like a uh, hindrance to your own team. But it's very cool. I will say it's a very cool take on a figure that has gotten like made incorrectly too many times and by too many times i mean twice because he's only been made three times total yeah i i think leech does have his fan base though there are unironically leech fans so you know whatever he exists let's not talk too much about leech because simeon we got a big old <laughs> set poster to talk about uh yeah. disney plus ain't even out yet bruh but we got the x of swords x yeah. uh x of swords x-men x X X X X X X X X X of swads. So, X's. This is obviously the standard booster. This is not yeah. going to be the um, storyline organized play kit. This is not including any of the figures that can be obtained in month one, two, three, or as prizing. So this is just the standard set, what you can pull in it. So starting off, uh, we've got Storm with a sword. Let me see what that sword is. Uh, ah, yes. It is not a sword that is in this set. Oh, no, it's Mercy, I think. Um, maybe. He's no, uh, no, it's not. This That sword's just not in this set. It'll be in the organized play kit. Okay, anyhow. Probably. We've got Storm. We've got Cyber Cypher. Uh, good old Doug Lock. Um, Doug. Yeah, oh, wait. We've got... uh, this, these are the commons. So yeah, this is commons. Up at the uncommon section, I'll run through the uncommon. Okay, we've got the, like Solemn, the, the, the Fury, Slavathi Vampire. So the Fury and Slavathi Vampire look like generics. White Priestess and Green Priestess both look like generics. Yeah. And we get Lockheed, Danny Moonstar, Colossus, Orcus Soldier, also generic, Iceman, Cyclops, Gorgon, Magic, and Roulette. And I'm pretty sure that's where the commons end. I'm going to stop. Uh, first of all, big shout out to Gorgon making his return after like 
11 years cool character. from the Captain America set. Yeah. Like the Bloody Muramasa Pack. Blade was like a big thing for Wolverine. Oh, it and was Gordon huge. was the one that wielded it like yeah. for the most part. So it's a cool character. Uh, next up, we got Cloud Strife Cable. We got our boy Peepers. Peepers. Uh, we got Stinch. We have the Honey Badger. We got uh, Racer X Cyclops. We have another Gorgon. Different in no way <laughs> that I can tell. Yeah. Uh, we have slightly more glowy sword magic. We got Tarot. We have, now this is kind of kind of neat. We got Mystique, Danger Room Construct Mystique. We have Danger Room Construct Sebastian Shaw. Shaw. Omega Sentinel. Looking a lot like uh, we Omega. Have Magneto. Uh, yeah, kind of just looking like Omega. We have Magneto. We have Jean Grey, who is like all pink She's, and yeah, clear. She's either like intangible a Danger or Danger but, Room. Or Danger Room, but the base under her isn't a thing like the rest of the Danger Room bases, so I don't know. Yeah. It'd be kind of weird if she was the one hero Danger Room. We have, which, man, I really feel like looks to be in his underpants bishop it really <laughs> looks that way it might be a, just a red costume that just looks different but man it looks it does not it looks, match it. yeah if you look yeah, closely dude. like if you pull it's, up the full size set thing it's close looking texture on him though it's yeah it's a different color than his skin color so it's definitely it just, not like yeah. just him it's, in his yeah. uh briefs then that's that's uh that's the end of the uncommons. Yeah. So the first rare starts off with a prime. So it's Iska the Unbeaten, and the prime is Iska the Unbeaten. So the one is in what? like red and black what? mostly with like some gold trim, and then the prime is in like gold and red with mostly like gold but some red. Uh, we've got Wolverine with the Muramasa blade. We've got War with a flame and sword. We've got Death with a oh yeah egyptian ish kind of sword yeah. curved thing we have danger dog, room apocalypse this is the uh rise and fall no this is the house of x sorry the house of x super rare and super rare prime sculpt so if you weren't able to get that for like 40 or 60 or however much the super rare was going for you can now pick it up as a rare which I think is cool. Same as the Juggernaut from House of X is re-sculpted as a Danger Room construct. Yeah. Really cool sculpt. Really great job on the sculpt. Um, glad that it's a rare now. I'm not at all upset that there's some sculpt reuse. Some of it seems like not necessary, like the Gorgon, Cyclops, Magic. But at the same time, I do not care that much when it's like a solid repaint. Um, and yeah. these... I really like when they take super rares from previous sets and put them in rare slots and newer sets so I can get the skulls. It's good. It's good uh, stuff. Then we've got Rogue, and we've got the prime version of Rogue that is Captain Britain Rogue, which... It, it looks like when you no select idea what that's from. Two in a fighting game. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> <It's> bad. Like, <laughs> It looks like, like when you select like scheme. the like variant 12 version of a character... Because it's True. just so completely different. It's way wackier. Very cool paint job, but it's like I've it never seen this rogue cool. in the comics, so I'm excited to see where it starts. Um, then we've got Kate Pride, we've got Pyro, we've got Emma Frost, Magneto, and we've got Cora of the Burning Heart, and that's most likely where the rares end. Know got to be a title character cora of the burning heart uh like, we've got no a lot common, of really we've got a Calm lot up. of really weird like we've got Bane no, the true. Moonblade coming yeah, up we've got, true. We've got a lot You're of right. weird character names right. in this set dude this magneto he is either trying to squeeze one out or really trying to hold one in <laughs> like I, there's only two ways uh he's squeezing one out dude this magneto, i like his dude. i like his darker outfits because it reminds me of his I solo feel. run where his he yeah. was like slightly depowered and like used, uh, he was Eddie. using like uh, paper clips and like barbed wire to attack right. people instead of like train cars stuff. and stuff. Um, we have uh, first off, super rares. We got Darwin hitting his best JoJo pose. It looks like just doing some real weird wacky stuff with his limbs. Um, we've got uh, ah, dude, magician man, Absalon Merc Mercator, Mercator, dude who looks like Chris Angel. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, we have another Captain Britain. Uh, she has the Starlight Sword, though, in this program. We have Bay the Blood Moon. She can be my Bay any day. Uh, we have the next... <laughs> that was so bad. 
Uh, we have the Super Prime first one, Nimrod the Lesser, and then just Nimrod. So kind of different look for Nimrod. Looks pretty cool. Uh, we have the Pool Party Deadpool. We got Monarch. We have Abigail Brand making a return. It's been a hot minute. She dropped the T from her last name. I believe she was Abigail Brandt before. Maybe she's not. Maybe she was always Abigail Brand. I don't know. But uh, next we have Wizkid in Professor X's chair. Kind of neat. Recolored. We have Hope Summers. Yeah, recolored. Yeah, so uh, that he could lose his stars in GTA. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, exactly what he paint did. the school like, chair red. They won't notice. And now they won't know who it is. <laughs> we have Hope Summers. We have, okay, I love these next two sculpts. Yeah. We got Real Wacky Boy Arcade. Hasn't been in the game since uh, Avengers Assemble. Assemble, dude. Avas Ye Mateys. Yeah. Um, and then the prime version of him. I don't know anything about this character, but he's he's got the fit, dude. Mad Jim Jaspers. I don't know who this dude is. He's got, he's like style and hat. He's got the same suit as Arcade. Obviously, they share a sculpt except for the head, but it's orange. And my homeboy is Mad Jim Jaspers. I don't know anything about him, but I'm 100% here for Mad Jim Jaspers. So, and then we got X23 <laughs> as the last super rare. I she think Mad really Jim cool. Jaspers is like Mr. Mixipultic of sorts. Oh, okay. He's like a, you know, he's a Q. Okay. He's like a very um, impish character, like a very like troublemaker kind of dude. But I will say uh, he comes from the other world which i have not read a lot into that so he's just like one of those weird characters that's kind of wacky but yeah uh let's see so that leaves us with mostly just the chases um so chases start off with summoner who plays a pretty vital role in the storyline obviously uh we get red root the forest we get apocalypse uh we will get another version well other than the danger room we'll get another version in the uh monthly play kits uh, the White Sword, Annihilation, Apocalypse's Wife, I guess. Uh, Blink, Saturnine, Lady Roma, Merlin, and Professor X. So this is a chase set where there is no, like, differentiating them yeah. from, like, the rest of the set. This is storyline chase set. Uh, yeah. It's very cool. I like most of the sculpts, I will say. Oh. Lady Roma and Professor X kind of be lacking with like the effects. They and, do like, be the lacking cool though. They kind of do be lacking. Uh, White Sword lacking. with like the giant cloud strife. I like White Sword a lot, yeah, dude. I, I really like most of these. Um, um, so Merlin, obviously spelled with a Y and not an I, but is it just like King Arthur Merlin, like yeah. straight up? Yeah. Okay. It's just so That's... other world is just uh, Captain Britain, like land, kind of thing. Oh. I, th I think it's called Otherworld, man. I... Captain Britain Land. Well, I mean, is it the same place that what's her face went to? Jubilee, Otherworld Castle. Is that is that Captain Britain's place? Otherworld Castle. Is that his his home squeeze? <laughs> I, I want to say that's the case, but that's it. Yeah. yeah, I. It's been a long time since I've read it. I did straight up Merlin stuff. though. That's so cool. <laughs> it's just I dig it. Um, but yeah, we might get like an Excalibur in this set. I don't. I haven't fully finished reading the like one of the line, most so. famous swords in the world, right? Excalibur. Hey, speaking of swords, let me run. Let me run down some swords for you here. Uh, Simeon, I don't know what any of these do, except for the Mermasa, because we talked about it two two minutes ago. Uh, we got Mercy as a sword. Oh, that's that's Storm Sword. Right? Oh no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know. It's is different it? color. I don't know. Maybe it is. She's, it there's like looks a blue Gladius that. that we saw earlier too. So. Um, next up, then we have the Mermasa Blade. Probably comes with what's his bucket, uh, Gorgon. We got. Gorgon, the, Gorgon, I love this yeah. sword. We got Vermilion, uh, which is just a fire sword. So you know, do fire sword things. We have the Black Bone of Omdwat, 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 uh, which is like a scimitar looking I'm thing. Guessing. Maybe I don't know. It's a lot That's of black. Like, it's hard to tell. Blends. It kind of looks like. Uh, no, it's not the one that the Apocalypse is holding. I don't know. So here's the thing: we don't really know oh. who the blades belong to. No, um, not really, because obviously that one. Okay, that one looks like deaths. That's the only yeah. person that looks like they're holding something similar to that. We got the uh, Starlight Sword, which I want to assume Cat Britain, Cat Britain, uh, yeah. Psylocke, Cat Britain. We have the the Seducer, this big long. Um, That's a spear, lance, sir. Spear, not Get really your spear sword. out of our sword storyline. Yeah. 
Bay the uh, Blood that's Moon. Probably Bay the Blood. Yeah, Bay Cheater. the Blood Moon. The seducer. Cheating in my sword. We have a uh, Colony, which kind of do be looking like Annihilation Sword. Um, I think. Then we have uh, Summoner also is holding all alluvium, alluvium, not alu aluminum, but it's all alluvium, little little red little little pig sticker sword. Uh, <laughs> not hundred percent on who that's for, honestly. Yeah, but uh, alluvium, know. alluvium. We have scarab. Hey, that's a word I can pronounce. Also, on a scimitar looking. Yeah, thing. that's apocalypse. Is uh, very Egyptian esque. Very Egyptian. -y. Uh, we have the Purity, so, I mean, the white sword probably has a sword called Purity. Sounds about right. The sword is not white, and neither is any of his armor, so I don't know. Um, and then we have the Twilight Sword, which... I think I Annihilation has that. Like, Annihil I guess, yeah, Annihilation and the Colony Sword look very similar, but yeah, I think that is Twilight Sword is uh, Annihilation. Um, and very definitely not the Twilight uh, link to the past looking <laughs> yeah so i was gonna here. say i'm not sure what sword magic is holding and then uh we don't have storm or cypher slash doug lux it's a um, um, cable sword looks a lot like purity but cables has like a big old hole in the middle because why true. yeah why uh make a sword without a hole in the middle uh structurally sound no so it does look like the majority of these swords are chase objects. So Alluvium is probably Red Root of the Forest, um, just because that's the only person holding like a red blade that's even close. Uh, and it just like, so yeah, Annihilation is Twilight, Purity is White Sword, like they just all go in order. Scarab is Apocalypses, Alluvium is Red Root of the Forest, Colony of Summoners, uh, Seducer is now a super rare that belongs to Bay the Blood Moon, Starlight Sword would be a super rare belonging to Captain Britain, Black Bone of Amduat is a rare, uh, yeah, rare belonging to death. And then Vermilion would be, is there anyone holding Vermilion? I guess War I is know. on fire, yeah, so right, I can't tell yeah. if that's a sword, but I'm guessing. And then the Muramasa Blade is either Wolverines or Gorgons. Gorgons. has to be Wolverines, though, because uh, Mercy would be Iska the Unbeatens. So if the swords are in order... That's who will have them. Uh, yeah. But obviously multiple people will probably be able to start with them. Just like Disney Plus had multiple objects that could be started with multiple people. But uh, yeah. We will hopefully get a fuller set list. This is the main set that you'll be able to buy over the counter. That you don't have to participate in organized play for. It does look like it's got some decent generics. Obviously we don't have any dials or anything yet. Um, we can't tell how solid the set's going to be, but it so far, I'm not upset with any of the sculpt reuse. I'm going to say tarot and roulette, like that's just something that's going to happen. Now, seeing two magics, I'm like, eh, do I need two magics? No. Am I mad because they're common and uncommon? No. Yeah. Same with like Gorgon. I'm just glad I have two options. That means yeah. one of them might be better. <laughs> like one of them might be something I play. Um, and then the rest of the set is pretty much, I mean, outside of them reusing sculpts from previous sets, which I don't have a problem with when they're like danger room constructs like this. Outside right. of that, I really don't see any sculpt reuse that's awful. Like all the rares and super rares are brand new kind of looking things. Um, at the very least, like the danger rooms aren't taking up prime slots. So, you know, they'll probably still be unique, but who knows um yeah so that is the x of swords main set non whatever it's called set set list so yeah ladies and gents let us know if you're excited tell us about all that jazz but hey simian uh that was a pretty solid episode we still have a lot more episodes coming up later this week so stay tuned to the youtube channel number one for uh not only the cool disney plus team building video we did but also some gameplay uh, all the gameplay that's going to be coming yeah. out uh this week it's gonna be really I will sweet say, so you want to see those teams in action some of the Check figures from disney plus might work differently on like in practice than on paper like there's a lot of figures that we played that i didn't think were going to be as unique or interesting and then there are some figures that didn't do as well as i thought 
So true. definitely check true. the uh, the gameplay videos out, especially as like just a good primer for when uh, your store gets like pre-release and sealed yeah. in, so you can be ready to play with it. Yeah, that's sealed. Uh, all right. Anything else uh, you want to shout out real quick before we end the part one of this week's episode? Just the news. Uh, I will say that I have been buying some stuff, so I'm gambling. I bought some uh, sealed cases of Empire because that Magneto oh, is oh, getting real high up there, and I'd like to pull one. So I picked them up from Cool Stuff Inc. Um, they had them on. They had the Empire bricks or in cases on sale. Also, happy birthday, Cool Stuff Inc. They're 20 years yeah, old 20 this year. Yeah, 20 years. Um, but yeah, they, they had uh, the Empire bricks for like. 80 bucks so a case was 160 something so i picked up two cases and uh yeah i'm <laughs> i'm gonna try and pull a magneto just to <laughs> recoup my cost is it a bad idea yeah do i suggest you do it uh, no. gamble gamble uh, gamble but, you know what you can find I cool stuff at coolstuffinc.com including the latest hero books and sealed products so check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like a hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how would six I, uh, how would people say? think I am funny. It's a hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which Absolute fools, it's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hey Google, attack someone. Let's attack Simeon because he's a jerk. Happy trails. 